Let's go ahead and bring in Steiner Sports CEO, Brandon Steiner. One of the country's top memorabilia mogul. I have an unbelievable guest, Brandon Steiner. Brandon is second to none. You know, this situation is the kind of shit that just gets me psyched up. I, I just, because there is no age boundaries to success. There is no wait. Well, let's see, get older. I mean, if you're ready to go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Can't stop, won't be stopped. That's my man over here, Ryan Miglio from uh, from Wave TV. Now, first of all, he's the content producer. <laughs> yes, now, sir. Ryan, first of all, good to see you. Nice to see you, Brandon. I mean, you're so freaking young. I mean, I, I mean, you're a baby, <laughs> like, but you're not really a baby. You've been rock and rolling for a while, haven't you? How old are you? I'm 18 years old. Oh my And I just goodness. finished high school. Now. Give me some of the parameters about Wave TV so everybody understands that this is not some small little... Mm. So Wave TV is pretty much the next generation of how sports uh, media is broadcasted to the world. We want the fans to produce for the fans, if that makes sense. We don't want to hear a bunch of old guys talking about at ESPN. I, I take that, first of all, I take that a little offense about the old guys. <laughs> oh, no, no, I got no. it, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you want yeah. new creative content from younger audiences right. where they can control some of the narration. Yes? Exactly. And is that what you got? I mean, how many people are on your, how many people are on your platform? Uh, throughout the whole platform, it's a total following of 24 million. Now, do you own a piece of this? Uh, you have some much. stock? Uh, no stock, but yes. You exactly. have an interest in this company? Yes. You're 18. Like, how'd you get yourself in the middle of this? I mean, how'd you work your way in? How'd you, how's this all come about? Because there's a lot of people out there wondering that are like 70 that have figured out how to work their way into a company uh, and have ownership or involvement. Like, at 18, I mean, what'd you tell your parents? I mean, how, how's, have you been just working on this for how many years? Um, I started getting into Instagram about three years ago when I was 15. <clears throat> And from there, I've just been working hard, you know, growing the page and like coming across all these people, making connections, meeting athletes, big, f like big figures. Like uh, who? Like Adrian. You drop some names on this channel. I mean, <laughs> we, we drop names all the time. I mean, there's no question. Uh, so. Like Adrian Peterson, yeah. Rondé Hollis Jefferson, um, what's his face? Pusha T. Uh, there's, there's a lot. How many people following you on Instagram? Um, on my personal account, just a thousand. <laughs> okay, but where, where? But are you pushing more the Wave TV aspect oh, of yeah. it? How many people are follow you on Wave TV? Uh, two point two million on just Wave. So TV. you're in the middle of that. Yeah. So if if you're out there and you're watching, I, I want to cover like the, the the entrepreneurial aspect. Like, mm. did you ever think this was going to happen? And uh, no, I never thought it was going to happen. Now you're in high but, school, graduating. Yeah, graduating on Thursday. Do you think about not going to college? Don't bullshit me. <laughs> did you think about maybe blowing college off? I did, I did, but you know, you can always learn something new. You can always meet new people, you, and you need that degree to get somewhere in life. Whether it be for me personally, I'm going for entrepreneurship, and I could use that if I ever want to start a business or learn something new. But you're going to continue doing this while oh, you yeah. go to school. Yeah, you feel you do both. Yeah. It's it's easy. I could was it a tough decision though, or you kind of felt like this is this was your game plan all along? Uh, this was it all along. Wow, it's crazy. So with Ryan Miglio, if you have any questions, please jump in. If you're a, a Wave TV person, jump in. If you want to understand how that platform works, how you can participate, we'll take your questions. What what's some of the best content that exists on Wave TV? And like this will be airing on Wave TV, or oh yeah yeah yeah, some of the best content that's on Wave TV is from the fans and the followers. They have these cool sports clips, like say a trick shot behind the back from full court that won't be seen by others, but we're able to make that happen for them. We're able to make them seen by the world and make their talents and go popular. And we helped this, uh, this one guy, his name was Ping Pong Kid. Ping Pong Kid. Yeah, and okay. last week he had 2,000 followers. I woke up the other morning, he had 10,000. So that's a game changer for him. Mm -hmm. So we're making people, we're making people noticed by the world. We're making their dreams come true. We're sharing their content. We're doing pro youth, young kids, right? Screw the older people, like not screw them, but really <laughs> the focus is on younger people to give them their voice right. and a strong voice. Exactly. But are you, are you every day like searching for like new ideas? New t is that what you do all day? Just trying to find that cool young kid who's got doing something crazy exactly. and get him to come on a platform? Mm -hmm. We're making kids noticed and we're pretty much, 
we're sharing our ideas with the with the population, with the people into sports. We're we're giving our views to the sports world, not the views from like someone that's been on ESPN for 10 years, someone that's, you know, completely like irrational with their ideas. We want <laughs> We we are the young population. We're the next wave. So like you know, if, if young kids not feeling like they don't like the times of the games, and don't feel like they have access to go to the games, that's where kids are voicing their pain, stuff like that. Right. But is it more than sports? Is it all kinds of entertainment or mostly sports? Oh yeah, it's all kinds of entertainment. We have um, we have people that just like basketball. We have people that just like football. We have everything covered in sports. Plus people that you know just have a cool talent. Like you know, say they're good at like. You know, yeah. What do your parents say? What, what are your parents saying about you? You're supposed to be out in the schoolyard. Well, I guess that's old school in itself. I mean, nobody's in the schoolyard anymore. But, like, what do your parents say? You're supposed to be kind of playing, I don't know, PlayStation with the other kids or doing all these like, teenage things, and you're like a little different, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. Do, do, do the other kids think you're a little different or weird? Or what, what, do you, what do your parents say about all this? My parents, they personally, they don't understand any of it. <laughs> They don't understand any of it. But they go along with it? Or yeah. are they kind of been fighting with you a little bit about it? Oh, no, they haven't been fighting. Like, I'll tell them one thing. It's like, Mom, I was just at ESPN with Ryan Hollins. And then <laughs> she'll be like, oh, really? <laughs> like, how'd you do that? Like, yeah. How do you, Ben, how do you even get here? <laughs> how do, I mean, how, how, so you just, you just go after what you think's interesting and just right. do it. Exactly. Right? Can't stop, won't stop. Right? You just, I'm not stopping. I'm just doing what I want to do, and that's it. I'm a kid. I got rights. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Is that, am, I, am I summing that up pretty good? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I love that shit, by the <laughs> way, because, by the way, kids do have rights, and I, I love when kids, I, I love when kids speak up, and, and they do should have a bigger voice. I think adults should be listening closer. No question. Mm-hmm. What's next for Re- Wave TV? Like, how do you see, how do you see this platform even getting bigger, and how fast are you growing? We're growing pretty fast. Right now, people are just starting to get the grasp of, okay, this whole Wave TV thing. You know, my favorite sports page has just become part of Wave. I want to know what it is. Every page that's been smaller is growing. People are becoming more familiar with us. We just launched our clothing brand. Um, what, what clothing brand? How, uh, now we're in apparel? Uh, yeah. Like, what, what's, the, what, what's an example of the clothing brand? Like, where would you go? Ben, go give that a look. Uh, Drew, give that a look. <laughs> we're going to go buy some clothing right now. <laughs> What, what clothing? Like, what would you so, get? Like, give me an example. So, so we would have like our hat with a logo on it, or oh, there's, cool. or we're like big into like esports too, like people that play video games for a living. So we have a shirt that says like Fortnite on it, or just say you know, there's a sweatshirt that says you know, baller, you know, people that are into basketball. Yeah. Could I go on your platform and sell stuff? Is oh. the platform like if, if, even Steiner? Like, we have a lot of stuff for kids. Like, could I go on that platform and actually make money and sell things, or just oh, yeah, really to post? Yeah, I could. Yeah, you could. We actually have a section on our website where your business can go on the website, type in your information, and say, you know, I want an advertisement. I want a partner with, like, I want a partnership with this company, and we will make that happen for you. Is an old guy like me not really what you're looking for? Or could I go on if you know if I can get myself kind of a little bit younger in my approach and everything else? Is there room for me or not? Oh, yeah, there's definitely room for you. It's not just kids. It's people of all ages. Okay. Whether, whether you be, like, a 1,000, whether you be 10, whether you be 1, whether you not even be born yet, there's always a, there's always a spot for you. And if you, have, if you have a talent, you know, we're happy to share that. If you, if you have a favorite sports team, we have a channel for you. You're able to go on that. You're able to get the latest update. Who's, like, the, who's like the initiator of this idea? Um, is it like one person? His, his name is Brian Vern. And Brian Vern. Brian Vern. He's located in San Francisco, California. I'm going to visit him in a few weeks and go see the office and stuff like that. But I was one of the first people he came to. He's like, you know, I want you to be part of this. And I just capitalized it, uh, made some connections, reached out to other channels to try and recruit them. And we went public last week. And it's pretty much made the splash that we wanted. Ryan. Yes. Did you ever think that you'd be in this position at such a young age? Does it surprise you? And, like, what's next for you? Like, I mean, it is pretty early to get yourself in the middle of this kind of thing. But is, did you think you'd be, do you think Wave TV and you'd be a part of this so quick? And what's next for you? What's next for me? I don't know. It's, everything's happening so fast. Like, one day I'll be talking to someone the next day, you know, I'll be here. 
you know like where are you where did you get this fearless attitude from like you, you're unbelievable <laughs> you, you you have your high level of fearlessness like where'd you get that from <laughs> um pretty much i just i came to a realization i'm like okay i'm gonna shoot my shot the worst they could say is no right so i just consistently go with that attitude keep trying keep like hustling to get you know where i need to be try and get the opportunities i need and just try and grow my name get myself out there and promote my brand tell me about your brand like what how do you view your brand define brand for me define brand. you know define your brand my brand which which would be probably the whole wave tv idea yeah um i say it's the next thing up it's it's the next wave it's the next wave and we're putting in a lot of time, a lot of effort in it. We have over 100 users working with us. Wow, and that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, who's the coolest person you have met along the way that you reached out to that you've been able to get to? Obviously, besides me, but who, who's the coolest person? You know what's funny? I was about to say you, but um, other well, than you, I appreciate you, of that. Course, but yeah, yeah. Other than you, of course, I'd have to say Ryan Hollins. Ryan Hollins has definitely been really good to work with. He's been very nice to me. How'd you get him? How'd you get to him? Um, because I think a lot of people, like, they're afraid. You know, they're afraid yeah. to go reach out to somebody or touch someone that they yeah. think can help them. You don't seem to have that problem. But tell tell so many people out there, like, as an 18-year-old, like, how you reached a very difficult person to get a hold of. Mm, pretty much just go the lengths. If if you have a favorite athlete or something, you know, just do, do what you need to do. Try and contact them through DM or something. Say, you know, I'm a huge fan. You know, I'd love to get in touch with you. If not, like, if you're trying to, like, land an interview or something, you could be like, okay, I need to get in touch with this agency if we could work on something together. And pretty much just be fearless. The worst they could say is no. That's fair. 22 million followers, right? If I read that right. Two, uh, 22 million followers? Uh, in total, the whole network yeah. is 24 million. 24 million. What, what do you think would be the next game changer for, for Wave TV? What, what's the next big thing that maybe get on your channel? What kind of things are you going for that would be game changers? Right now, we're just looking for content. We reached out. We actually had uh, Wendell Carter Jr. out of Duke. He's going to the draft tomorrow and, or uh, on Thursday. On Thursday, he's going to the draft. And he took over one of the accounts associated, Brent Ingles Daily, with 1.4 million followers. And he was pretty much where... Um, Representing our company, you know, it's like guys, I'm out wow. here. How'd you get to Wendell? Go. How do you get to Wendell Carter? <laughs> it's pretty much a lot of networking, a lot of connections, reaching out to people, and like I said, the worst. Are you like in your room, like all day, all night? You just come out for some milk, some cookies, and eat something once in a while, and then uh, like, and, I mean, are you like one of those kind of like. <laughs> not gonna lie, some days it is like that, but other days, you know, oh, I'm be like. Uh, Hey, I'll reach out to my friends. Do you want to go hang out? You want to go to McDonald's, something like that? And trust me, I love McDonald's. <laughs> but um, we'll go there, and they'll be like, Ryan, get off your phone. But I'm like, I'm, I'm posting on social media, you know, this is my work. This is my job. And it's honestly the best job because I'm making connections I never thought I would be able to make. You know, I'm really, you know, putting in work, and it's paying off really early. It really is. Congratulations. Like, Who's the next big name that you want to get to? Is there somebody else that's on your bucket list that you say, I'm definitely going to get to this name or that name? Um, definitely the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's been my favorite player for years. And um, in February, I went to one of the games when he played the Nets, and he gave me a sweatshirt after the game. And um, wow. that, that was pretty much... He's special, and he's a character. Yeah, he's a great guy. So that's the guy you want to connect with. Definitely. Anybody else on your list? Anybody else on my list? Um, I've always loved David Wright. Always loved Dirk Nowitzki. Um, let me see. Ezekiel Elliott. Wow. Ezekiel Elliott. So you got your list. Yeah. And you're hoping those guys can participate with you, get them on the platform. Like, yeah. Do you do pods and interviews with them and stuff oh, like yeah, that yeah, as yeah, well? Oh, yeah, all the time. Is that what you do on your own? Like, what's your biggest platform that you control? Uh, is it on, is it on um, Wave TV or is it on your own platform? Oh, no, it's Wave TV. See, so everything you do, you put on Wave now at this point. Yeah. So the way to contact you, if I want to go watch your content, I go to wavetv.com or? Uh, you can just go on the Instagram, wave.tv. And if you want a video to be put up on any account that has over a million followers, you click the website in the link, you put your name, you put your email, 
attach the video and we'll look at it and we'll put it up for you. Wow, that's cool. And so, uh, I mean, a lot of people are participating constantly. On this. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So Logan got- asks on Facebook, he wants to know, can it be any talent that you can help provide your services to? He'd oh, like yeah. to be a voice actor, and he wants to get his name out in the world. Oh, yeah, definitely. We could definitely find a channel to put you on and bring some people, drive some traffic to your channel. You could definitely get your talent out there. You can make a name for yourself. What kind of content do you particularly look for when you're reviewing, like for certain things um, to go up on your channel or not? Um, Sometimes it would be like if I come across a video and it would be a guy that does, he's on like a a platform about to do like a 360 uh, dive into a pool. Uh, I'd, that would be something that would open my eyes, and I figure, you know, that would open up, you know, some of the fans' eyes, and they see who it is, they click on his channel, and they're like, wow, this guy's pretty cool, because you go on his channel, you see a bunch of those videos. People are interested in that. They like, um, they like humor, like, say, like a fail video, or pretty much anything that would catch your eye. So you love America's Got Talent, oh, that yeah. kind of format, right? Yeah, Especially yeah, yeah. with youth, younger kids. Mm-hmm. Yes? I mean, I could see you falling right into that because sometimes I'm watching that show and I'm like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I wonder if anybody else is, no, I mean, where's this hidden talent be? But now they have a platform to go on anytime. Yeah. They don't have to go on that show to get it out there. If right. they can't afford to get on that show, they don't have the ability to get the break to get on. That's cool. <laughs> um entrepreneurship like where do you think what's your view on entrepreneurship now that you're now that you are one (laughs) like what's your view on entrepreneurship if you're a young person out there what do you tell other people that are 14 15 now that you've been gone through that you're 18 what do you tell your 14 year old self now knowing what you know um if you have a dream you could definitely achieve it it doesn't matter what challenges you go through you could always overcome them there's always an alternative and remember that no success comes without failure at first. Never. Wow. It's very adult-like. Jeez. <laughs> You're going to do well in college, too, man. I think it's a great choice. I, people know I've talked about it on this platform, but I'm a big, fa- big fan of college. No matter how much of a serial entrepreneur and how far ahead of the game you are, I think you can grow up and do a lot of things in college that are necessary to even go much further in your entrepreneurial path. Mm-hmm. The college will never get in the way. It's always going to springboard you even further. Right. So I'm glad you made that choice. Uh, closing remarks, anything you want to talk about as far as Wave TV that we missed? And if you're out there, where to go and to get you? Um, pretty much. Closing remarks, if you have any videos, anything that you want to get out there, go to our website. It's in wave.tv on Instagram's bio. Send, send it, fill out the form, and we'll see it, and we will put it up. And how do we get a hold of you if we want you? <laughs> Best way to go to get you is on Instagram? Yeah, definitely. And by the way, if you have a young kid who doesn't quite fit into the mold you thought when you were having a kid, trust me, every kid is unique, different, and uh, every kid's special in their own way, especially if you take a step back and see it that way. And that's what I see more and more with kids today. I love that I, I see uh, young kids following their dreams, not following the stereotypical of what parents think their kids should be, but kids thinking and going after what they think they should be. God bless, that, that's what this country needs. More entrepreneurship, more small business, more kids going after it, more young adults going after it. That's the purpose of this show, is to bring that stuff to light and hopefully inspire all of you to go do that.